Today I'm going to show you how to use PDF Studio Pro from Copa Software to digitally sign a PDF document. This process encrypts the entire document with a private key that is certified to belong to the signer. Future changes to the document will be detected and reported when the signed document is viewed with any program that reads digital signatures. The steps to digitally sign a document in PDF Studio Pro from Copa Software are as follows. Begin the signing process by clicking on the Sign Document icon on the toolbar, or selecting from the Security menu. We need to designate the area where we want the signature to appear. How about this open space right here? I must choose to import a signature from a saved certificate file or create a new one. You'll choose Import to use a digital signature from a certificate authority such as VeriSign or Thought. The advantage of buying a signature from a certificate authority is that it is automatically recognized and trusted by all PDF viewers. Alternatively, you can create your self-signed signature by choosing Create a new digital, a new digital ID now, which is what I will show you today. This type of signature is free to create but your vendors or customers will need to actively trust your signature the first time they receive a document from you. Let's fill in the information for the signature. This information, the information that is specifically required to create it is the name and email address. And you need to create and confirm a password of at least six characters for this digital ID. This password will be required when signing a document with this ID. I click Finish to complete creation of this new identity. At this point, whether I have imported an existing identity from a save file or created a new identity as I just demonstrated, I'm ready to actually sign this document. If I had multiple IDs, I would need to choose the one I want to apply here and supply the appropriate password for that ID. I need to supply this valid password to enable PDF Studio Pro to start the signing process. A nice option here is the ability to customize the appearance of the digital signature on this document. This is what the default appearance looks like. Select Create a new appearance to customize the appearance of the signature. I can specify an image to be shown. Control the transparency and location. Here I'm using my handwritten signature written out with a Sharpie and scanned into a digital file. I'll move that over to the left side of the signature appearance. I can choose to show or hide any of the individual elements that are included in the digital signature. Here I choose my name and the date only. Note that all of the identity details will be stored within the digital signature, whether we choose to show them or not. I'll select OK to return to the Signature Application menu. I now have the option to select the reason for the signature, and as well, the location and some contact information. I'm ready and now can click Sign. PDF Studio Pro will save the signed document. This is important because the contents of the signed document are now frozen in time. The document displays the signature with a green check mark, which means the signature is valid. Clicking anywhere on the signature appearance will pop up the signature validation status window, allowing you to see the details who the signer is, when it was signed, in this case the reason, the location. The full certificate details can be seen by selecting details. The signature is valid and the document has not been modified since it was signed. 
Thank you for taking these few moments to begin to learn about PDF Studio Pro from Copa Software. Have a quality day.